going on? I got what do around this time. Rise and grind and go get it. I am your host, Mike Man, back with another episode. Rapper with your TV. Press that subscribe button. And when it's loud and lit, lit and loud, circle forming because of COVID. I'm not passing. You go over that pen over there. You good. You got a circle. Hey, man. Got to speak on it. The fact that some people still don't get it. You got those who make comments and then after being pressured or asked about comments, now the story changes. Now you're apologizing. Now you see insensitivity in your comments, but it's like you didn't get it. You didn't get it when you were speaking. You didn't get it before you spoke. Case in point, Big Vangio of Denver Broncos and Drew Brees of my New Orleans Saints. Um, Drew Brees came out, said some things, said he never disrespect the flag with kneeling. After, you know, this 24 hours, he's back on the internet apologizing. For the comments that he seemed now to be insensitive or missing the mark. And to be honest, he did miss the mark. Like a motherfucker. But it's before you even made the comment. We know now where your position was. Then after the comment. And then you apologize. I mean, me personally, I forgive him. But uh, we just need more people that aren't black to empathize and realize right now. You're not going to understand the struggle. You're not going to understand what it's like. Never. No matter how much money you throw at something. No matter how much you, you know, say you have black friends or you hang around black people or you get along with black people still doesn't change the fact that how some people feel or how they've been raised you know now Kaepernick is being praised by everyone you know which a lot of us praised him anyway for doing what he did but it's the fact that now people get it now or start to see why Like, it's never about the flag, man. It's never about the flag. Because you have people that disrespect your flag. If y'all want to be fucking authentic with it, if you want to be... You know what I'm trying to say. If you want to be all the way with it, you want to keep that energy, keep that energy with the motherfuckers that burn the flag. Keep that energy with people that's around here selling merchandise or doing shit with the flag different colors and all that I'm personally I, I've been in the army I know I know uh, what it's capable of I know what the government will and won't tell you and I know how it is out there really being a black man I know how it is daily I've had police stop me for bullshit questioning this and that I mean we've all been there so, but people of any race not being black should empathize and realize what it is. And you can sit and say why, you know, this shit didn't happen during other events. Well, you know, it took this one to break the uh, camel's back. So, uh, hopefully, uh, a lot of the violent protests <clears throat> come to an end. But how can uh how can the police being public servants told to protect and serve? How you can you be out here letting people officers shoot people with rubber bullets or wooden bullets? Those wood wooden bullets put out eyes. They cause 
big uh, painful injuries. So, and you have officers aiming for face, face and chest, like that. Like that shit is still not, not going to alter somebody's shit or change somebody's shit or maybe even permanently disfigure somebody. Like, but I mean, some people just don't get it, man. They're not getting it. Officers still, after this shit jumped off, you still got officers out here beating folks. So, I mean, what the fuck is we doing? What is, are we really getting the message to you or are you really getting the point? Like, some people are not getting it. And like I said, when people realize and get it, that's when this shit will come to some kind of resolution. But man... I mean, the the police have to realize it's not just someone having a past criminal history. It's not about what he looked like he's capable of doing. It's about you doing the right thing and knowing when to assert your authority and when not. So... Yeah, they need training, comprehensive training all around the board. These uh, police departments, I think they need to be taking psychology and all types of shit. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments and why you at it, man. Go ahead, press that subscribe button. Subscribe to the hottest thing smoking, Rapper Weed TV. Hosted by me, Mike Man Rivers, and BMG all day. And when it's loud, lit, lit, and loud. Circle format, I got gelato. You over there with that oregano back of your boogie. So I'm out the corner of the yard. Punch that notification bell. We got a circle, but you got to give me six feet with that. Hey, man. Y'all stay safe. Stay woke. Y'all be breezy.